letter to the town that raised me. Slough you built me. I remember walking up and down Belgrave Road with blue bags filled with samosa from Sky Fries, taking them to my daddy's house so we could enjoy them with some chai. Friday afternoon spent looking out the window at that sea of white, men in their groups walking to prayer, peaceful and joking and humbled by the presence of God by their side. Running to Ali's supermarket for panya and chilies because guests were coming and mum was making nihari but had forgotten her garnish. Hearing the laughs and screams of secondary school girls as we would sing at the top of our lungs, dancing down the cinder track next to Bayliss. Shopping at the blue shop for cans of coke and 25p twangers. The prices have gone up since then, but it's a Bayliss girl ritual that will never end. Slough you built me. I grew up with the smell of Milky Way in the air. I watched Brunel bus station as it fell to the ground, the rise of Tesco Extra and the strength of the community to which we are all bound. Slough you built me, to never fear wearing my hijab, to talk with the utmost confidence and always reach for the furthest star. Slough you built me, resilience and humility, a town forged by the struggle of immigrants who proved the strength of diversity and how great multiculturalism can be. Slough you built me, as I would sing along to Bollywood songs, someone else would always join in, I'm sure we got half the words wrong. Slough you built me, pakore and pierogi, I slates every day but don't forget the tandoori roti, Friends feeding me bananas and rice, never the same experience twice. Slough you built me. A woman proud of her small town, where anyone can understand and accept and everyone can settle down. Slough you built me. A daughter of diaspora, but I never felt afraid or alone because I was always surrounded by those who are my own. Slough you built me. Just as our grandparents built you, from Stoke Poges Mosque to local shops, it's amazing what immigrants can do.